Grüße. Good evening, I'm Mayor Ralph Becker. Welcome to the Arts Festival. What a week, what a day. I'm pleased tonight to be here to present the Mayor's Artist Awards to the outstanding individuals and organizations that have helped shape our vibrant community through their commitment to the arts and their tireless work. These awards presented by the Mayor's Office and the Salt Lake City Arts Council have been part of the Utah Arts Festival for 23 years. We also invite you to visit the city's booth here at the festival, it's over by the Leonardo, just in, uh, to see the work of these artists. The recipients are selected by a panel made up of previous winners and representatives from my office and the Salt Lake City Arts Council. Recipients also receive a $500 award and a piece of art glass by local artist Julie Stutznegger. These five outstanding artists or organizations are truly exemplary in their field and I thank them for their contributions to Salt Lake City as an incredible artistic city. After I present each award, I invite the recipients to make some short remarks. So the first recipient, Tony Smith. Tony was selected for his contribution to the visual arts as an emeritus professor of art at the University of Utah. His early interest in the imaginative may have been developed when at age 10, he contracted rheumatic fever and was confined to bed for a year. Isolated, he listened to the radio and read the entire encyclopedia. During his illness, his family moved to another home in Salt Lake City and Smith's knowledge of the outside world was imagined through windows that afforded him glimpses of the mountains. It was only when he recovered and first ventured from the house that he was confronted with the alarming realization for a young boy that he had invented an entire landscape. This imaginative beginning has led to a lifelong career in the visual arts and Tony's work has been featured nationally in print, exhibitions, and film. He currently lives with his son Willie and wife Monica, and he goes to his studio daily where he continues work on his art. Tony, congratulations. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. See you But I'm just me. Um, Thank you very much, and thank you everybody for the recognition. I'm truly grateful, thanks. Uh, a man of few words. Obviously not a politician. <laughs> So the next award is to Claudia Sizemore. <laughs> Claudia is also selected for a contribution to the visual arts. She continuously focused her life on the creative. Early in her career as a teacher at Hillside Junior High School, she influenced such notable Utah artists as Lane Meekum and Trent Alvey. Pursuing a master's degree in filmmaking, she extended her reach beyond the classroom and into the studio, using film to capture the lives of notable artists such as Lacanze Stewart, Dennis Phillips, Alvin Gittens, Francis Zimbo, and Lee Defbach, as well as dance teacher Virginia Tanner and the Utah Symphony maestro Marisa Bravanel. She's also, she also documented the artistry of Rari Woodbury Dance Company, Children's Dance Theater, and the Repertory Dance Theater. She has produced more than 200 films. Claudia was originally a landscape painter, but after seeing the work of Lee Defebach and later taking classes from her at the Art Barn, she honed her skills as an abstract expressionist and color field painter. She is still painting, making films, and influencing artists 
Claudia Sizemore. Congratulations. Thank you. Salt Lake Arts Council and all of you guys. And thank you. Uh, the next award goes to Kent Miles, <laughs> always an artist. He was selected for his service to the arts as an individual. A graduate of the Arts Center College of Design in Los Angeles, he is an award-winning and extensively exhibited photographer, an experienced teacher, and coordinator of exhibits for the Center for Documentary Expression and Art in Salt Lake City. He has been principal contributor to many exhibits and books, including The Other Utahns, a photographic portfolio, Street with Light and Shadow, Portraits of Former Soviet Jews in Utah, Faces and Voices of Refugee Youth, and other books include 24-7, Portrait of a Contemporary Fire Department, Mormon Women, Portraits and Conversations, and You Can, A History of the Utah Communications Network. Kent conducts workshops, seminars, and private classes, and he mentors the photography group Salt Lake, si Salt Lake 7. In 2014, he completed Creative Differences, an exhibit celebrating the 30th anniversary of Art Access Gallery through portraits and interviews. Kent? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. Everybody here. Although I, I can't help but feel that there were uh, other uh, potential recipients more worthy than I, but the people that I'm really thinking about are those that are, uh, make the effort to promote arts and culture and humanities uh, in a system that maybe doesn't value it as much as they should. Uh, so to all of you, thank you. And thanks to all of those that make the effort to serve the arts community. Uh, next we have the Plan B Theatre Company. The recipient of the award of service to the arts by an organization. Uh, they have developed, as we all know, and produced unique and socially conscious theater with a particular emphasis on new plays by local playwrights. 83 of their 111 productions have been world premieres. Of those productions, 81 have been written by Utah playwrights, including Utah's first world premiere by an African-American playwright and first world premiere by an Asian-American playwright. Nationally, four Plan B plays have been nominated for the American Theater Critics Association Steinberg Award for Best New American Play Outside New York. Plan B is the only theater company in Utah history to have toured coast to coast, toured internationally, and transferred a production fully intact to Off-Broadway. As Plan B enters its 25th season, the company remains committed to sharing stories with a local point of view, as well as global stories told from a local perspective. They are also this year's recipient of the Governor's Organization Leadership in the Arts Award. Jerry? Cheryl. And and Cheryl. Cheryl, excuse me. Excuse me, and Cheryl. Congrats. Thank you, Thank you too the Mayor's Office and the Salt Lake City Arts Council and the many, many patrons and artists and board members who have supported us for the past 25 years. And <laughs> so um, there are two specific people we want to be sure to recognize that have been with us for a very long time. First of all, 
Jennifer Fried, our, our resident stage manager, who thought she would get out of being recognized, but if y'all look at her, she's right there in the black t-shirt. <clears throat> she keeps us uh, organized and focused. Uh, it takes a lot of work to do that with me in particular, I think. Uh, and the other is Randy Rasmussen, who uh, for 25 years has designed nearly every set for every production that we've done. Um, there's just a handful that he has not. Um, it's fitting to recognize him at the Arts Festival. Um, he is the king of green as far as theatrical design goes. I think we're still using some lumber from 25 years ago. So anyway, thank you so much for recognizing um, our work and uh, here's to another 25 years. Thank you, and our last award for the evening, while I had nothing to do with the selection, I want to assure you, is special for me, because anyone who knows and has had a chance uh, to read the work of our next recipient uh, knows what an incredible contribution uh, he's made to this community. The award for contribution to the literary arts is Jeff Metcalf. Jeff is a teacher, playwright, and author. His poignant one-man play, A Slight Discomfort, which chronicles his now 13-year-long 13, 13 cancer story, has toured widely in the US and Europe, often being staged in hospital settings. His recent book of essays, Requiem for the Living, is the personal counterpoint to the play. The collection came from his personal challenge to write one essay a week for a year reflecting on his life. Jeff also developed alternative education programs at area high schools in the early 1970s. This career working with non-traditional students has led him to work with adult learners at the University of Utah and the Venture Program through Utah Humanities. He is working with Venture students in the program Humanities in Focus in which students learn how to make documentary films. In the last 10 years, they have produced nearly 50 documentaries ranging in topics from substance abuse and domestic violence to immigration and pop culture. Jeff, congratulations. Thank you so much. I think at this point, this is where I just walk off the stage. But I do want to begin with an apology to whomever it was that called me from the mayor's office, because I actually still have a landline, and I saw Salt Lake County mayor's office, and I thought it, one, had something to do with parking tickets, and, or two, it had something to do with supporting Mayor Becker, and I, I was, which I support. But I was reluctant to pick it up, and I'd had one of those days, and I picked it up and said, what are you selling? And there was this pause on the end of the line in this, wonderful woman said I'm trying to get in touch with Jeff Metcalf so what are you selling what are you trying to sell you know it's parking tickets talk to my wife she's the one that gets them I said well is just Jeff Metcalf at 69 Hillside Avenue and I went you know it is you got my name you got my address she said I just wanted to tell you that you won the mayor's award for literary arts <laughs> I said call me back really because I'm not like this call me back and I'll be the other Jeff Metcalf but I want to thank this organization. What a wonderful organization that celebrates art. As Kent said, not enough is being done to support the arts. I want to thank the young man that nominated Michael McLean over there. He's completely embarrassed, but I've known him since he was in a program with me um, at the age of 15 years old. And I want to thank all of you coming out here and supporting this project. Thank you very much. All right, let's give one more round of applause to the award winners and to all of the artists who contribute so much to Salt Lake City. Thank you all so much. Yeah.